How you doing guys? Steve here again. Want to give you guys a quick update about what's going on with my depression and my anxiety. I find out tomorrow. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow with my primary care physician. Find out some blood results uh, as far as my L-tyrosine, tryptophan, 5-HTP, phenylalanine, I still can't say that one properly, and my niacin levels to um, try and figure out what's going on with my serotonin production. Uh, besides that, today I got pretty lucky. I woke up without my antidepressant. I didn't have any left, but I got lucky. I had two two 25 milligram pills left in a random bottle somewhere and it got me through the day but it didn't work as well as my 50 milligram prescription you know I take Pristique um, but this led me to I, I guess a more motivated mind state because I was down pretty much the whole day and um, it just led me to think what if I didn't have that that lucky bottle? How would I react? You know, um, what would, what would be the consequences if I didn't take my Pristique? It's a pretty short short lasting medication. The the half life is uh, I think only ten or eleven hours. You know, so I basically have to take it as soon as I wake up in the morning. Um, now, you know, it, just the thought of if I didn't have it or if I had a way today, you know, it really, really scared me. So it, it's definitely pushing me down the road to get off of medication. So I made a step and I did some reviews, I read some reviews and I made an appointment with the functional medicine practitioner. And what this basically means is I'm going to see a doctor. I got I found a functional medicine practitioner pretty close to my house and it comes with a free one hour consult which I was pretty shocked to hear you know um, you get to sit down with, an, with a doctor for free for an hour I was you know I was pretty shocked so what his job is is to find the underlying cause of what's going on with me and why my body is not producing serotonin the way that it should be. Um, I'm going down this route because I, I feel that my antidepressant is crapping out, my clonopin is crapping out. I don't want to change medications. I don't want to go up on medications. I want to be off of them. So this is my step. This is the step that I'm taking, and I uh, I've seen some videos. I'll give you give you the the link to these YouTube channels, um, one guy's Evan Brand, the other guy's TJ from DominateDepression.com, and they are mainly talking about on their channels different ways to deal with depression and different ways to deal with anxiety without medication, which is the route that I want to go to. Um, just, the, just the thought of not having my medication this morning was terrible it was you know it would make just made my anxiety worse you know so I'm going to find a more natural route I'm pretty sure this is the key and I'm hoping praying that this is going to be the answer because I'm sick and tired of how the medications make me feel how I feel when I don't have them um how I feel when I know I need to take my clonop and my body tells me it's it's like hey Steve you you passed your 12 hour mark buddy you know um, here comes a big anxious wave hope you can handle it until your medicine kicks in you know I was at my father's house today enjoying enjoying myself and it dawned on me that I didn't have my clonopin with me. I didn't have my medicine for the nighttime. And as soon as I thought of that, I <clears throat> immediately became anxious. And 
to me it's not a healthy way to live it's like you're a slave to your medications because your body does become dependent on your antidepressants on your anti-anxiety medications it's, it's sick you know and through it all I haven't felt myself I haven't felt a hundred percent even with taking the medicine so I want to get off it so I did my my research I did my all my studying on supplements and what could be going possibly wrong with me but it can only take me so far and I want to speak to a professional I want to speak to somebody who knows what they're talking about and this is um happens to be one of the best functional medicine practitioners is actually right up the block from me you know a two minute drive which was a relief you know and um it, it's it's um it's sad you know and also tonight what bugged me was um with this medication i it has so many side effects and one that I, that i hate the most is like short term memory loss you know i can't remember what i did yesterday i can't remember, remember what i had for lunch yesterday i can't remember small details of my day that happened that hours prior you know um I almost missed one of my best friend's grandfather's wake. I I had every intention of going and you know with um everything going on with my wedding and without and not being able to remember stuff, I it honestly slipped my mind. I really, really forgot about it. The wake started at six o'clock and I remembered at seven thirty, you know. So I had to rush home. I had to rush home. I I was so anxious and I was angry. I was angry that I forgot because the real me, the the healthy me would have never forgot that. Somebody that I loved to be there for them. You know, it, it it's it's it just it just gave me more more motivation to want to go about this more healthy, you know, more of a natural way, more of a healthy way than taking medications that are just not doing the job, you know, they're only putting the cork in my problem and now that cork's not holding up too well and I can feel it, you know, that there's water spilling out and the cork's getting old. Now I need a bigger cork, and I don't want to get a bigger cork. I want to put a permanent patch on this shit. I want to get the permanent fix. I want to find out the root cause and what the fuck is going on in my goddamn body. Because it's... It's sad to have to wake up every day and... Dread going through another day of depression and another day of anxiety. Another day and that goes by and... Dreading going to sleep just to know that you're going to wake up with depression. And I know there's a lot of you out there who probably feel the same way. So I suggest um, checking out some of the videos on the links that I'm going to provide to you in, in the description. You know, for the, those guys' those guys's channels. And make, a, make it a point for yourself to heal to find some reviews on functional medicine practitioners because they're going to find the underlying cause. They're going to find what's going on inside you. You know, their job is to prevent you from getting sick before you even get sick. You know, you go to the doctor when you get sick and they give you medicine. I got depressed, I got anxious, they gave me medicine, but no one ever told me why I got depressed, why I got anxious, out of the blue, you know, and I still don't know. The only thing I can point my finger to is after a series, uh, plenty, plenty of um, rounds of blood tests is low serotonin. And that was only because I suggested that I wanted the test done. So, you gotta look out for yourselves, guys, you know, um... It's it's tough because you're the one who's fighting in it every day and you're the one we're the ones who's fighting in it every day. We're the ones who's trying to survive every day and 
we're the ones who have to make the steps, the correct steps and the necessary steps to get better. Because it's not easy. It's not... We know it's not easy. It's not easy dealing with depression every fucking day, dealing with anxiety every fucking day. It, it's, uh... It's depressing. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to put it. So, like I said, guys, um... I'll give you an update on how my blood work looked, and I'm going to give you an update on Monday is my appointment with the functional medicine practitioner, and I'm, I got pretty much all my eggs in that basket, because uh, I need somebody, a professional, to tell me what's going on, because there's way too much information for me to absorb and to, to link together, you know? So, I tried the medication route, and we know that that's not it for me. So, here comes the next step. Anyways, guys, if you liked anything that I said in this video, shoot me a like. If you got any questions about why I'm trying to move away from medications, or if you have any questions for me whatsoever, please don't hesitate to comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I see it. If you would like to hear more tips, uh, more updates about my recovery, please don't hesitate to, su to subscribe. You know, my main goal out is, is to reach out to people like, like us, people who are hurting, people who are having a hard time. You know, and if you just need to vent, you could write a 100-page comment. I'll read it. I'll get back to you. You know, if you, if you just need to talk to somebody... Don't be afraid to comment. So, if you're suffering, if you're hurting, if you're down today, you know, if you've been down for a while, it's like I say all the time, guys, you keep your heads up, you keep fighting, and you keep surviving. Hope we all get well soon, and I'll see you guys in the next video.